I talked about at a show. People were like, what's up, Dukes? <laughs> That's my man that I met. I started coming to LA in 87. And, um, you know, through the Beasties, as you know, on tour, License to Ill Tour, 87, State to La Park, Party Out, it's crazy, you know, getting freaky from Fresno, all that uh, lifestyle. <laughs> and, uh, you know, in LA, and then when we came with the Paul's Boutique era, Max was a uh, definite, you know, the little dude behind you know, the scenes that make, kept the, oil, the machine well oiled. You know, he was there with the Dust Brothers, the Beasties, and whole crazy circle of friends. A lot of them mostly like celebrities, children, like son, this guy's daughter, this guy's father, and I'm like, Jesus. Harris Jagger, he's now Paul Anka's daughter. Yo, I like Connie Stevens' daughter's pussy. <laughs> Crazy shit. Describing it out here. Combinations, Sophia Coppola with this dude's nephew. I used to be, I used to talk to my friend in New York, like, you wouldn't believe everyone's like someone's daughter or son. It's nuts. <laughs> so, what's my point? All right. <laughs> All right. Can you dim the light? Give a toast to Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> Damn, that was sad, dude. That one hurt. Teddy Pendergrass. A moment of acknowledgement to a classic, a classic, a classic. So I'm taking pictures of Zephyr in the vault. I'm like, kind of like an office. Isn't that cool? And then I see these dudes coming down the block, and I cut across the street in front of them before they hit the big, this crazy scene outside. And you know, Lee, is Michelle, John Michelle Basquiat on the left. You know, he stopped, and he stopped. And I said, you mind if I get one real quick? And they stopped and paused, and I said, thanks. I just went, Shh. I said, thanks. Just went back to the other two, and they were like, damn. Uh -huh. So then they went on, and they were like bombarded. By, so it was a biggie. It kind of launched me with the little Archie magazines, like Paper, East Village Eye. This is a cool moment. Interracial hip-hop relations. <laughs> which are very important, you know, I happen to be drawn to. Ron used to come pick me up. I used to ride shotgun for some reason. 1986, DC with the Beastie Boys. That spring, I just started taking pictures, spring of 85, officially, as a serious photographer. So this is spring of 86, a year later. And I had started hanging with them in the winter of 85. So then they invited me along on a couple of road trips to D.C. or Boston. And yeah, show that one. Then we seen these black kids and we thought we were going to get rolled. And then they saw us the Beastie Boys and they just started breaking. <laughs> they gave them respect, right? Like, weren't Oh, shit, y'all. It's the Beastie Boys. Mike looks relieved in the middle. <laughs> Fucking, you know, I used to go hardcore to hip hop shows in Harlem. Oh my god, usually I get a wow. <laughs> Yo, did my man Neil Brennan come? Dave Chappelle's co writer, that nasty white kid? Oh man, I was hoping he'd come. He's funny. So, this is good. Eric D. and Rock Kim, those banners were like, you know, regular procedure for shows. I loved it. That's a dope outfit, too. But you know, that's a black thing, man. No white guys can rock dogs. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get paid to just do what I do, drink beer and talk shit. <laughs> I'm hoping it's gonna hit big one day. <laughs> you gotta be in it to win it. Uh, this is when I joined Hit the Big Time. <clears throat> uh, 86, New Orleans. Run DMC backstage. They just had the single come out. My Adidas. 
They were huge. I just fucking joined that tour for a week by accident there in Tampa. Took the flight, I quit my froze aid job, went down there. Because I saw them in the USA today. Beastie Boys, Run DMC, LL, Houdini, Raising Hell Tour, big deal. I was a frozen lemonade vendor, fresh out of college. I was like, I'm going to go down there and see what happens. So I fly down to Tampa, knock on the dome, they come out and get me. Beastie's like, oh shit, no, what are you doing here? I'm like, oh, I was in the hood, you know. <laughs> they brought me in, I could hear the music. Like big time, because I was just used to club scenes. Boom, I can hear the music loud, Peter Piper. And uh, I remember opening the door, it's a big arena, Peter Piper blasting. I remember thinking, damn, this is the big time. So it was, and they were huge, and the tour was huge. So I went on the tour, and this was in New Orleans backstage, real quick. I felt really privileged to be taking pictures of these, these guys. I'll be honest with you. Oh shit. This is a, you know those blacks who wish they were Italian, the reverse wiggers? <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, uh, this one is specifically a Nubian Guido. <laughs> oh shit. Al, Al, he knows who's, you know, he knows who's what. <laughs> Tell him, yo, relax, get loose, jerk off. See, yeah, I said, yo, act like you're Italian. <laughs> All right, good one. He done, I like how you put that one in there. Did I tell you guys we had a wild time in Europe? This fucking guy. Crazy, the whole fool you. It's not conservative. Oh, okay, this. This is one of my favorite photos, as far as hip hop or whatever. Street, just combination, good moment. It's, you know, hip, interracial <laughs> moments. This is 87 Hollis, and uh, they're filming a spot for their big tour in, in uh, Europe coming up in May of 87. So they were doing some MTV spots. And, uh, so I just saw him, I was like, look at Brian being like the mentor, and Mike D, like, you know, because when DMC kind of took the beasties under their wing, and like, you know, they had a good mutual respect. And uh, I just liked them in their get-ups, and just a great moment for interracial, hip-hop, harmonious relations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one too. This is on the tour bus, quick, you know, a quick natural moment. They were killing it in Europe, dude. Every gig was ridiculous. It was crazy. It was like summer camp. Look at the fucking bummy ass dude with the yellow shirt and the bummy fishing hat. That dude's a billionaire. That's Russell Simmons. <laughs> trying, trying to borrow money. <laughs> trying to hustle, playing three card Mondi. So whatever, one DMC bogarting the back. And then this is another one. Put these dudes together. Classic dude. This is not Halloween. <laughs> this is a real day-to-day -day way of dressing. Isn't it? <laughs> Dustin runs house tour '88. That was like a grimy ass tour for a minute. I didn't stay on that one. Next. This is when I started hanging out with the Beasties, actually. The fall of 85, after they, I saw them play at the Cat Club. I was like, damn. So that's in a bar on Avenue A. Got Ad Rock, got the original Def Jam jacket, Maroon. That's, you know. Oh, with the end of the show? That's it. Negro. <laughs> What'd you buff out, Nick? Nah, you All had right. a good run. All right, you're right. All right. You're right, bitch. You're right. Thank you, Rob. Thank you.